So let's talk about how in the leftist circles it is damned if you do, damned if you don't. So having spent some time in the so-called leftist circles, I can assure you that, that people there suffer from the same ailments all of us do in the outside world. But there are certain biases, of course, that may not be present in the general population, so to speak. And the amount of criticism that you will receive in the so-called leftist circles may actually be quite surprising at first. And, and that happens because uh, a lot of the people who tend to hold leftist beliefs, they are pretty well read and they often come from this marginalized group and this isn't because they're actually marginalized but because they may feel mar marginalized and they and they may feel like they don't receive the credit that is due and i'm not saying that all of the people in the leftist circles are such it is just this pattern of behavior that i recently have been thinking about and i understand that my perspective is skewed of course because there are certain people that just happens to come across my way but it doesn't mean that everyone is like this of course but the general tendency i gather are the following there are quite a few people in the leftist circles who are arrogant this could be a maladaptive defense mechanism this could be uh, a desire to compensate so compensation is a type of a defense mechanism where you feel like you don't have enough in one area so you try to compensate or overcompensate in another area let's say an example let's say you don't have a lot of friends but uh then you want to compensate by being overly smart and so you say well people don't want to hang out with me because i'm too smart for them and again this happens in all circles this happens in all walks of life it is not exclusive to leftist circles but this does happen quite often. Another common feature that I'm observing is argumentativeness. So a lot of the people in the leftist circles tend to be quite argumentative. And this is where I completely, totally stand behind many of the folks. We are often so used to being dismissed. We're so used to the fact that people don't want to listen to us. And they say, oh, communism, that's when gulag and famine and all of that nonsense. So you may automatically be on the defensive and you may participate in arguments in a more heated manner for many reasons. One of the reasons being that you're tired of people dismissing your arguments and you are upset, you're frustrated with the fact that people don't see the obvious and there are many more reasons, of course. So this is another feature that I tend to notice in the leftist circles. Now, the other very common feature that I've observed is tending to have this limited amount of people you interact with and having this inside circle of um, comrades and friends who you interact with and everyone else is outside and everyone else is perceived in a very different light. And that again tends to be because it is necessary for one to feel like one belongs and it is also common in other uh, areas of life, and this is a part of an in-group bias. You tend to value the opinion of the people who are in your group, whatever, whatever this group may be. But for some outside observers, this sometimes may look like a cult. You know, the people <laughs> all speak strange words and strange lingo, and they all uh, have these interesting beliefs, etc. Uh, so this is a very common feature as well. And there are a ton of others, which I'm sure you have been exposed to as well. And I'm not saying this to poke fun at anyone or say, oh, you guys are not what I expected you to be. Uh, I expected you to be this way because in many ways I am too these things. I too tend to suffer from some of these. And only by observing myself and analyzing my motivation can I put a stop to it. But still, I am very much prone to these myself. So this is something that's been on my mind for a while. And going back to the original claim of the video, damn if you do, damn if you don't, it's very difficult to be right in the leftist circles. There are always people who are going to come and criticize whatever it is you say or do. Uh, so there, it is pretty much impossible to do the right thing. But again, that is understandable. And I actually support the notion of being skeptical and not giving each other support for the sake of us. 
uh, just bear in mind that we cannot continuously argue over everything and we have to find some common ground. Otherwise, we're going to just keep on arguing with each other on the internet or in real life and we're not going to be able to move forward. So let me know what tendencies you observe in the leftist circles and uh, maybe let's keep this conversation going.